Okay, welcome back to another video on my channel today. We're going to be looking at a lap drive in the Aston Martin V12 GT3 car around the Bugatti Le Mans track. So this is obviously the short circuit track um, based at the Le Mans location. And we're going to go through a quick track guide before we go into the setup. So starting the lap, we're going to look to take the first corner straight up ahead now, pretty much flat out. You can do it completely flat out, but what I like to do is give it a slight little lift. Just helps us ease over to the right hand side and then down into second gear taking these apexes nicely trying to take some of the curb just try not to run too far wide there we ran a little bit wide but we got away with it going into third gear and then i like to take this corner now nice and tight and on the right hand side you see the darker line further over to my left i prefer to take a tight line there it's just something i've always preferred to do on that corner now going into the next corner we're going to try and downshift in second gear just past that bridge there and again you want to try and get the car into that curb as closely as possible starting to run a little bit wide on the exit there but we get away of it keeping the car all in, all in the lines just about then going through to fourth getting them braking just past the start of the curb there on the left going down into second gear lift off the throttle and just let the car coast a little bit and then on the power once you feel the grips there we got a little bit of wheel spin there on the exit but we didn't lose too much time maybe a tenth or so coming into the next braking zone you're going to look out for the little sign that sticks out on the right there and going down into third gear using some of the curb on the left and then again curb on the right just be careful on the exit see we got the power a little bit too soon there again losing maybe a half a tenth then breaking down into second gear for this right hander just hugging the line nice and tight on the little square of the power and then lift off and let it coast for a bit once you feel the grips there put the accelerator down into third gear quickly and then back down to second gear as the curb hits you on the left there then staying in second gear for this tight right hander on the power as early as you can and over the line for a 1 minute 33.3 .3. so that that put us third on the world lead board for this car so there was room for improvement we probably we probably could get the top spot if we really wanted to go at it but uh, like i said i just want to get this set up out for yourself so the setup was basically we did it in free practice before we went into hot lapping trying to get it consistent we made some alterations from that hot lap though we actually lowered the acceleration dip slightly from that hot lap as you've seen from watching that the rear started to step out slightly when i was really going aggressive so we lowered it down to four percent from five percent we also adjusted the um, deceleration differential up to 65, I think it was 65%, it was originally on 60%. You may want to try each out, but I just found that a slightly higher would just give a little bit more stability going into the corners. One thing you may want to try as well for um, a bit of advice, maybe moving the weight balance from fully on the rear to halfway and just get, I think it's 50.5% 50 rather than 51%. It might actually give the front end a little bit more grip going into the, the corner, stopping the front end from sliding slightly. And then you won't have to be as aggressive on the exit of the corners to get the rotation. It may be worth a try. Um, just consider it. But on the setup, obviously, this is the setup I use that's on there now. If you want to try that out, it will need some alterations. This is just the base setup again, just to get it faster than the default for myself and a little bit more consistent and easier to drive. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you've liked it and I'll be back with more setups soon. And also make sure you check out the replay at the end. It's car sounds amazing again on this game. Really nice sounding car. Really enjoy driving the Aston Martin. Um, and we'll be back with some more setups very soon. Thanks again guys.